Okay, this beginning of calculus is talking about slopes. Calculus, uh, one of the major things we do uh, in this class is to find slopes of curves. So in pre-calculus, you would have done slopes of straight lines, and so now we're starting to get into how do we find slopes of curve lines. Now one formula that may look a bit familiar to you is this idea of a difference quotient. So in order to estimate the slope on a curve, we have to get a straight line, and we're going to estimate the slope of the straight line, and that's going to give us an estimate for a slope at a particular point. Now ideally, you want to have these two points be as close as possible together, and then what will happen is you're going to bring the, the points really, really close to each other so that one point's almost on top of the other one, and that's going to end up giving you the exact slope at that point. So what we have set up here is we have two different x values, x1, x2. The difference in the x values, we're going to call that h, that's your delta x. And we also have a delta y, that's the difference in the y direction. And here's our two points that we have. x1, that's f of x1, x2, f of x2. To find the slope, what are we going to use? We've got to use the slope formula that you may have seen before. We're going to put in the information. So y2 and y1 are actually these values here involving f. So we put those in here. Now this formula that we end up with here, that has a name. That's called the average rate of change. So ARC is what I'll abbreviate uh, in this class. Average rate of change would be the average slope between two particular x values. And of course down here we have our difference quotient formula. So instead of using x2, Instead, we're going to write it in, in terms of x1 plus your h. That ends up being your secondary x value. So average rate of change is this formula, and we have difference quotient is this one here. And this is the basis uh, for what we're eventually going to be getting into, and that's called the derivative.